Namaste. What is that mean? Hello. Really? I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to us, then we are Sid and Al. Welcome and hope you enjoy our channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up. It helps us out a whole bunch. We just filmed a get ready with us and we got a little bit of time to kill. So we thought we'd film another fun little video that we've been wanting to film for a while now. It's pretty much a Q&A with a little bit of a twist. I hit Insta, Snap. That's it. That was it, but like three different versions of Insta. Mm, two. two. I didn't hack yours. I said to you guys, we kind of wanted to do like an advice video, but through a Q&A style because wasn't sure the topic to tackle. I feel like we're at like a point as well in our lives where we could probably give some good advice. Yep, we're 20 years old. A lot of you guys ask that question. You think we're younger. Thank you. Thank you. If you've got any friends, friendship questions, boy questions, like any life questions, we would give you our opinion. And as we always say, there's two of us, so you get the best of both worlds. Some opinions you might not like, some you'll love, so. We're just here to be honest with you and hopefully you enjoy. We're also going to put your questions here. Some people have said please do not enter our name, so we'll blur some out. Let's get comfy. We like a little bit of a chatty video. Kick back. Love the tree in the background. Literally new vibe. Love it. Christmas. Can it be Christmas all year round? How can you tell if a boy likes you and how do you tell a boy you like them? I love you both so much. Boys are confusing. <laughs> a little bit different when you're a bit younger, you're at school, it's all a bit more like innocent. I think one during school 100%, like if you guys are at school and a lot of our subscribers are still quite young, if it's at school, boys will treat you mean to keep you clean. I was going to say the same, but boys, like, it's a weird way of blurting, but boys like pick on you. If someone's always talking to you, but then they're like, like at school you don't mind that whole like oh i like you i don't like you if they're like no i don't like you what the hell like where have you heard that nine times out of ten they like you on <laughs> always try and play it cool mm. wait till you walk away oh <laughs> you actually oh i actually did like you like a bit like we could always let him no you're late yeah it's a little too late jojo is just i'd say 90 percent of boys need to go through a stage like t like 16 to 20 where they need to have that whole like player like superior male alpha male they get out stage they need to get out their system i wouldn't get too deep about oh no one likes me and stuff like that until you're like in your 20s it's not the be on end all we are completely different where i always had a boyfriend through school l never had a boyfriend through school and i i we kind of like reverse so i'll be like i kind of wish i'd enjoyed like being young and just having fun with my friends more mm. rather than being like, oh my God, who fancies me? Oh my mm. God, I fancy you. I don't regret not having a boyfriend in school. Mm. Cause like, at the time, you was probably- At the time, I was probably like, oh my God. But like people, especially now, people grow up way too quick. You've got the ho your whole life with someone and say you're going to be with them forever. Just like, I just, I, I just don't rush anything. I'm literally like, I want to move out. And then I'm like, no, I don't. And then she's like, Sid, we're not even 21, like you need to chill, like yeah. you've got your whole life, like once you've moved out, you're out. I feel so strong about that. I can't reverse and go back and be so young. off topic. <laughs> oh, sugar. These questions aren't just to help one person out, like the person that's asked the question. This is Loads an advice video, yeah. Yeah. But I started fancying boys, like probably yeah, in six, but like, like in secondary school. Quite more, yeah, more serious, like th 12, 13. Up until about 16, I'd say it's like really just innocent, chatty. Stuff like that. 16 yeah. to 19, 18. I'd definitely say, like, it's a bit more serious, but I wouldn't say cut your friends out, quit jobs and stuff, change your lifestyle, move away. No. If you like someone and you really, really do like them, I don't think there's any... I don't think it's embarrassing to, like, Just let tell people them. know your feelings. Oh, no. I think people regret. Like, you can never regret telling someone how you feel. No. You can regret not telling them. There's how nothing to lose other than them potentially saying that they don't like you, but then... If anything, you're kind of gaining the, like, you don't need them. The they don't want you. You're gaining the knowledge to think, don't want you anywhere. Yeah, yeah. and you can move on with your life. Mm -hmm. If not, you're going to be stuck in that moment. You're going to be like, should I, should I? Uh, the what if, the what, the if. what if. Jason Derulo, what if. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, I couldn't preach that more. Because, like, 
say if you don't tell someone you like them and they they honestly have no idea and then they go out with someone and they in the back of their mind still fancy you but like you you both fancy each other but no one makes the move and like you just have this what if and it's a big bubble they're gonna get divorced do you know what i mean next question how did you deal with being on a budget when you were a teenager and what jobs are good for a teenager other than a calf or newspaper round job that's quite funny you should say that. Confession. Me, confession, random fact about Sid now. We did a paper round from the age of 13, possibly 12, until we were about 16. Yeah, until the rule was you're not quitting until you get another job. In England, you're not allowed to get a job to 16. So that's when we stopped. And a lot of people probably still don't know that to this day. We actually, like, you we have a, it quite well. You have a, pro like, looking back, I'm like, it's so ridiculous that there's things I when say now young. that were, if I was young, I would never admit stuff. Mm. This is so off topic again, but once you hit your 20s, I honestly feel like you're like, oh, who cares? Why do I care if you, I mean, like, if you think that's embarrassing? Like, yeah. I'm proud. Yeah. But looking back, I'm so glad that we not, not got made to. No, our parent, like, we were raised to earn ourselves and like even when i was before the paper round like if i wanted money from to go out clean I'd, have a to car. Go, I'd have to go and do something for it yeah clean the house and that's how we were raised and yeah i'm so grateful for that because yeah. i know a lot of spoiled people that were just handed money and i just don't think they have the same morals no 100 percent. i definitely think if you've earned money yourself and my nan's gonna watch this she's gonna go sid come here because she's gonna go you can finally admit it, but I do think if you've earned money and then when you spend it, you appreciate stuff you've bought mm. more. My dad would say the same, actually. Exactly the same. When you're young at school, don't worry about what other people think of you. Like, we did kind of cover up the fact we did a paper round. Like, if anyone saw us, we wouldn't deny it. We used to have friends around after school, and one time we had, like, a few boys round, and my mum comes, comes in, because we have to, used to have to, like, pat leaflets, and she's like, girls, you have to do the leaflets for the paper round. Boys, do you want to help? And I was like... I wanted to sink in a black hole. That was an embarrassing moment. Like, I can't stress enough how much that doesn't matter. If that happened now, I'd literally laugh and I'd be like, wait, boys, actually, can you help? That's actually so long. But we were like, <laughs> what was a leaflet? What? <laughs> what was a paper? Wrap? I was like, oh, just help my sister do it. Boys that were there, it's so quite lucky that we was like with a group of boys that were funny and like, they didn't care, but they were like, what's it called? <laughs> yeah, and we, we were still quite like, no, 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 you can leave if you want, no. When we were 16, we both became lifeguards, which is a good job as well. It's a good responsibility. You've got to grow up a bit. I'd say mm. while you're really young, like do anything. Okay, this is a good one. Um, since I haven't been at school for ages, everyone is talking about me behind my back and there are loads of rumors going around, what shall I do? When you're at school, things spread like the plague. I feel like I'm the only, one of the only people in, definitely in our area where we live, that can easily, hand on heart, this is not even something I'm saying for attention. I don't miss school. I feel like there are elements of it where I'm like, yeah, it was good, but I wouldn't say, oh my God, I want to go back there. I like, sit on the fence with that. There's some things I really... I miss and like reminisce about, but I don't think I'd do it again. So one of the main things is because I feel like it's just a really negative, like pressurizing, everyone's trying to impress everyone. It's intense. Yeah. School obviously is a place yeah. to learn, the excitement is gossip. Yeah. And that's how, that's why things get around quickly. I think rumors either ignore them, stand up for yourself, without like getting into fires. <laughs> I think it's also a really good place to find out who your true friends are. Wish in school I was as confident as I am yeah. now. Because you look back and you do think, like no matter how much you think, like why didn't I just say it? There's just a part of you at that age where you're like, I can't, I can't, like I'm too young, whatever. Mm. No, one of my teachers said to me once, if, th if something's worrying you, you gotta think, is it gonna bother you in 10 years? And if it's not, then don't worry about it. And also mm. if you can't do anything about it, because, like, what's the point in worrying? There's not much you can do at rumours. Know yourself. Know what's true. Make sure your friends know what's true. And sometimes one of the best things you can do also is just ignore it. Rumours, like, they're like little, like, bugs. Like, they infest by, like, more people adding to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, the more you add to it, the, it's like fire. Oh, yeah. The more wood you add to it, the they more They want the a reaction. Burned. Yeah, if you're kind of like, mm, well, it's not true, I don't care, then they'll be like, oh. Yeah, they want you to be like, yeah, that's true. That's very true. Next question. Okay, the next question is from... Oh, I don't know if these people want their name. 
I don't think we're going to say names. Um, my boyfriend of a year dumped me out of the blue on our anniversary about two weeks ago, but I still think about him every day. So my question is, do you have any advice on getting over an ex? P.S. I adore you guys so much. Oh, thank you. We love thank you. you. First. <sighs> on your anniversary. On your anniversary. <sighs> Hon, that ain't you normal. should go to a local farm, buy some horse manure and throw it <laughs> at his house. He wants to know what dumped feels that like. That is nasty. Throw some dump at his house. I think someone that wants to dump you out of the blue on your anniversary, you need to look at the bigger picture and think, why would I want someone in my life like that? They're clearly not right for you. And I think and they don't have your best intentions no. at heart at all. If they didn't want to hurt your feelings, <laughs> they would like at least wait for a different day. And with no reason. You like, need something to like keep your mind off it. Like some people would go like, friends, I need friends, I need to go out, friends, I need to do whatever I can. Some people run to family and some people run to anyone else that will distract them. Like With someone else. Yeah. I personally, I was like really in denial. I was like, but I, like, I brainwashed myself. I was like, I don't want to be with anyone else. Like, I, I just want to break. I want to chill. And then, like, the next week, you're talking to someone new and it's like, mm. if it's going to happen, it will just will happen, won't it? Yeah. I have a spiky eyebrow. Cute. But yeah, I do think that maybe try, like, talk, even if it's just in a friendly way, like, you don't know, if you're scared, like, people are going to think you've moved on too quick or, like, you don't want in your head to actually think you're moving on that quick. Just like assure yourself that it's just like in a friendly way. And if it goes anywhere else, no harm in talking to someone. And you don't an need for them harm. Move on. Say this. No harm. They'll come running back anyway. The next question is how would you deal with an ex friend who has been fake and snaky to you for years, then turn around and say that you're in the wrong? This is <clears throat> something that a lot of people will go through at some point. Friends, some of them don't last forever. It is different in every situation. Some people don't see feet people being snaky. They don't pick up on it. You can be really oblivious to it for a long period of time. But when you look back. Until you're in a position where, I don't know, someone comes into your life, like, for example, a boyfriend or, like, someone else's point of view, and they're like, what's it? They've pulled the wall over your eyes. Mm. This is such a deep topic. <sighs> Obviously, it depends how snaky they've been. If they've backstabbed you badly, talked beep about you to other people when they're supposed to be your friend you don't want someone in your life like that i think there's definitely only a number of times you can let someone do something to you without thinking am i the one that's ending up looking like an idiot i know it probably seems like we are the only people in each other's lives <laughs> that like we don't have any other friends but there has been a time when there was more than just two of us there's been four of us there's been like there's been we've, like, had, we've had groups of friends few friends and like i'm not saying we fell out with every single <laughs> <laughs> be really careful who it's just so hard because you could be best friends with someone for years and years and years and one day they can just change there's nothing you can do about that you need to let people find their own paths people it's change and you've sad. got to, yeah you have to understand that people change you can't stop someone from changing don't take it personal that maybe like someone's switched on you for you guys to listen to this and go yeah i agree like it's so different until you're in the position. I feel like that with everything. Yeah. Like, I will never judge a person's situation unless I've literally walked in their shoes. If you've never had fake friends, then I'm sure you will along the way. I'm sorry. There's a lot of people that will smile to your face and walk away and go, <laughs> this is that. <laughs> Some people think I'm really like in your face, not in your face, but like quite like, don't care what I say. Savage. Quite savage, quite like to the point. But it's cause that's my that's my way of saying it. I'm gonna be real with you. If you can't accept that, then that's me being fake. If I'm that, but then that's being a fake friend, and then that leads back to like, how do you deal with like not having fake friends? And it's like you gotta choose the type of people you wanna be around. You you're never gonna get along with everyone. What was the main part of the question? <laughs> so then they turn back on you and say you're in the wrong. I think that's where you really have to stand your ground. I mean, I am guilty of being too nice and not sticking up for myself enough until probably this year. 
probably since YouTube. Mm. I still I'm not gonna stand here and say that I'd confront every single person and I'm not as ruthless as you. If you genuinely know that you are not in the wrong in the situation, you have to stand up for yourself and as long as I think you you've know always right. been like that a bit deep down. It just takes a lot for you to like <laughs> have nerve and be like this ain't right yeah but when i feel strongly about something she'll stick with it i mean we've almost had arguments like we don't argue but we've always had arguments and sometimes i just walk away because i'm like i'm literally gonna put this bitch through the floor yeah she, like, sometimes shush. i'm really stubborn when i know i'm right she's like that ain't right. and yeah, i'm like that's true actually when you know you're right you will stand your ground and i always say as long as you know you're right and the people that you actually care about and care about their opinion know that you're right who else cares that's why you've just got to spend more time with like people who like you and just remember like if you know the truth it's all good and listen the truth always comes out off topic once again sid now get the room <sighs> for how far off the question can you go okay so this question is what do you do if you and your best friend like the same boy p.s love you love you too I personally think at the age of 20 <laughs> that if your best friend is truly your best friend, then you will sit there and you will be like, wait, I feel like we've been in a position before where I've literally been, not like that, but like, I know what you mean, but I can't put my finger on it. For example, say I was single and Elle was, is single <laughs> and there was someone that we both liked, which I personally don't think would happen because if you're really close to someone, I'm sure you would discuss it. Innocent ways of it. Say you're in a club, you both like, oh my god, that's that guy's hot, that guy's hot. I think it was like about a celebrity. We've spoken about it before. Yeah, I know we have. What we said was you've you both discuss it between you, mm -hmm. and if like you don't come to an agreement that one of you will be better suited to the other person because that will always be the case. You're not exactly going to be both exactly the same suited, do you know what I mean? Then you leave it down to the person choosing, like the boy, because he's obviously going to like one more than the other. Now, nah, Elle, there's like one thing that there's on the top of your list and not mine. Like the one, let's say we both like someone with blue eyes. I know it's not all about looks. Oh, I see. Like we have different, like, paint a picture tight yeah but like there's different ways of doing it but say say it was like this i know it's not down to looks books not written by a cover what don't judge a book by its cover don't okay. go. say it was like we liked blue eyes um tall me, me, me. and then like l liked someone blonde and i like someone like with a bit darker hair which is the truth by the way and like it had everything we liked but it had blonde hair then I'd it. be like, <laughs> there's one more thing that he's got that you want, you have him. Hunt. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Actually. Like, I feel like if you're close enough with your friend, your friend, then it will, it's a simple, simple, simple solution. At the end of the day, if you're going to argue about it till the death, get rid of the boy. Is it worth it? You and your friend, if you're really besties, just get rid of the guy and you two can find two other new guys. I mean, I've always had a theory that Elle's always fancied the people I've been with. Why? <laughs> Elle gets along with them like a house on fire and I'm a bit like, obviously nothing bad, like, my best friend fancy, but I always jokingly be like, Elle has a crush on blah, blah, blah. No, I just, I just talk to people so easily. She just vibes with everyone. Some people are going to look at that really bad and be uh, like, oh, she's a boy's girl, do you know no. what I mean? Like, but I, I love, do get along with boys Wouldn't really you well. want your best friend to get along with your boyfriend so well? Yeah, well, that like I've Snapchatted Dan, my boyfriend, and Elle before, and people are like screenshot and they're like, "That's so funny how like you're cool with that and stuff like that." And it's just like, imagine. Yeah, they, they go for coffee and stuff, and I'm so chill. But <gasps> that's having trust, and not even that's so that is weird. Because so I wouldn't even think, like, I wouldn't even give it a second thought. But like, well, he got me a pro gift, and I was like, blah blah blah. How do you know I like this? Blah, blah. And he was like, "Oh, me and Elle have been ringing each other for last." This was literally when we like first met. Yeah, because all good intentions. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Anyway, for that is solved, I'll be. Um, so you guys can answer this in the comments below. Oh, I just had it in my head and I've completely lost my train of thought. Would you drop your friends for your boyfriend? Question should be like, boyfriend or friends? I'm not literally saying husband, but then oh, they start as boyfriends, so. Serious boyfriend? Mm. They start as boyfriends. That's like saying toast starts as bread. <laughs> I think we should do one more question because this is getting 
serious. How do I tell my friend she's bothering with the wrong people? And I think this basically means, I think the word bothering is putting us off, but I think the word, I think it means like trying with the wrong people, getting in with the wrong people, doing the wrong, going down the wrong path. This kind of depends obviously how wrong. This goes back to what we were just saying about one of the questions. You can't change someone that wants to change. But at the same time, you can try. And advise. You can advise. Advice can... goes a long way. If you don't try and you don't put effort into trying to lead them back to where they kind of started and came from, then you're not doing your job as a friend. The and I think that that's the sense that you have the best interest. I definitely think sometimes that can be like misjudged and it's like 100% think that you're like being harsh on them mm. bringing them down yeah and I do think if you're like some people will be like oh that's really strange but I think if you're in a friendship where you'd maybe compare it as close as me and Elle are I personally if it was back in the day when we were at school and you're quite young maybe you don't think your friend's gonna be as like I can't figure the words out, but I've got it in my head. Like, you think your friend's maybe not going to trust your judgment much. I know for a fact, like, Elle would do this and I would do this. Like, if it's that serious where you think that this could literally F up their life and you need them to get out of this path, I would seriously talk to her mum to talk oh, to yeah, her. I like, I know that. that Elle would talk to my nan. Because there's, like, something recently just ha like happened not that long ago. Well, Elle gave me advice, someone else gave me advice, my friend from uni. And then, like, even though they was telling me stuff, and my gut, I knew that they were right. And I, but I was just kind of like, no, 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 it's fine. And then it took my nan agreeing with them and saying, no, Sid. Like, no. Yeah, and then them back I literally home. rung Elle and I was like, it took my nan saying that for it to click. Mm. There's no one that knows, for you guys that don't know, like, I was brought up by nan my nan, I live with my nan, she's like my mum. So, like, for, like, it's like your mum saying to you, like, no, you're gonna look like a mug. Mm. Someone who knows you inside yeah. out, who has literally watched your life mm. and knows your best interest, you know, like, how to sort your life out, how to put you in a place. Pack in your place. Yeah, that's a really good one. If you need to, bring people. if you think it's that serious like even if they're gonna be like yo you've told my like, that you just yeah, like, they're like you're, you're gonna thank me one day i love yeah. that you're gonna thank me yeah. one day i'm over fake friends i'm over <laughs> beat boys and i'm over the camera dying it's midnight <sighs> didn't realize how deep this video would get and how long <laughs> it would be but we're gonna have wrap to wrap it up this like a good christmas present you know? <gasps> Maybe have to make this a segment. Series. We really love doing videos like this that are going to help you guys out. Hopefully it has. Please comment below if like we've ha kind of solved a problem. Or just giving you some advice that you needed to hear. Yeah, I think like even though, like we said, these are specifically answered for like one or two people. They maybe will help people in general. Maybe people that just watch this and they're like, oh, that's a situation I can boring with. Boring you with. <laughs> maybe this helped you. Maybe this could help a friend. If it's going to help a friend, send it on. Hey, girl. We're sitting now. We're here like as the like old fashioned. What's it called? Like um, you write an art, you write in the magazine and like agony aunt. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> cool. So thank you so much for watching this video. Obviously, let us know if you enjoyed it. Give the video a big thumbs up if you did, and even let us know if we answered your question. Yay! Leave any comments down below if you want to just like start up a little group chat or something. That'll be cute. <laughs> we can have a little debate. But Anyway, thank you guys so much. We love we you. We love you so much. We'll see you in our next video. If we don't see you before Christmas, <laughs> have a lovely Xmas. We will. No, I mean like if you don't happen to watch our videos until Christmas, oh, okay. like which is rude. Rude. But we'll see you soon. We love you guys so much. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely evening. Good night. Yes, Good we've got a bed. Good night. Everybody, let's say to the world, good night, everyone. If you had us on Snapchat in the if summer, Elle real, sung that. If you're a real follower, you'd know. Elle sung that in bed when I was trying to get to sleep in the pitch like at like 1 a.m. She was like, good night, everybody. Anyway. So we you. love ya.